Hello, once again, audience, and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. I wanted to give you guys a tip today on how to save some oil. We all know the guys uh, that do like I do. Come in with a wall sapper and a whole bunch of motorcycle raiders. Do nothing but pop your oil, and off they go, and they're away. Uh, and usually what they're doing is force targeting your oil. Um, this is a bad example of an oil base. There are plenty of oil base or bases or resource bases. Um, here is a good example of one. However, in and alongside this one, the point that I want to make is no matter what your base design is, there's a lot of good ones uh, on the interwebs, and yes, that's intentional. I know that I'm supposed to have a wall in between there. Uh, the idea being that I want to have a lane so that people can actually get into the town center. Or at least they think they can. Um, but the point for saving oil, or at least protecting it against people that are actually just trying to snipe, snipe raid you, however you want to call that, is to do the following. Um... Let's just pick up everything. Let's pick up everything and we'll pretend that this is yours. What you need to do is actually stick your fort and where's the oil? If I could spell, life would be so much easier. Who is messaging me? Somebody is messaging me. I'm, I'm sure if you have any sort of uh, tenure in the game, you understand exactly what I'm doing here. So within the game, there exists a bug, if you will, where you cannot rally on anything that is above the fort in that beam of light when there is one general active. Now, if there is two generals active, you're going to want to do something like putting that one over there. Uh, because, of course, your generals will sit there and there. So, uh, to draw it out for you guys, let's see here. So, if you have two generals active, there's a beam of light that shoots up from there and shoots up from there. Uh, thus to mean, and it kind of works around there. So, if you were to say have your oil right there, people can't actually force target it. Uh, so they'll probably just bypass you. This isn't going to prevent people from running you over and taking your oil anyways, but it will prevent people from simply going in with, you know, 10, 15 raiders and a couple of uh, engineers or uh, wall breakers getting through there and sniping the oil. And again, if you only have one general, uh, you want to move it right to there. And that beam comes up right about there. Now I'll show you what that beam actually looks like. Uh, let's move this down. We'll cancel. I'm not sure. Yes, I'm not sure. We'll go down here. Um, so, a good example of this would be if I was to temporarily pop my oil out here, pop the refinery here, sorry, the refinery can go there. People that were raiding me, and you can see right here, would not be able to force target my oil. It may have to be a little bit closer. They might be able to get finitely in there and actually target right in that section right there. Uh, however, I hope you understand the generic concept or the general concept. And the same goes for both sides here. I hope this helps. Uh, happy rating. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Keep your sticks on the ice and have a good time.